When the four stars were released in the beta version and everyone was doing testing, this guy got a lot of buzz because the word on the street was that Goldberg was going to be top tier because at four star he got a choose move. Let's have a look. This build is Enzo Amore for MP on your yellow and Big John Stud for more red gems because that choose move that he got at four stars is a choose three to red. So adding Big John Stud means you're choosing seven to red. My issue with Goldberg is still this move here, which is two blast gems, but they're random. You don't get to choose where they go. They just randomly show up on the board. So now with your choose move, it's great. A choose seven is fantastic and red gems are, are pretty strong. So what you're trying to do here is A, charge your red finisher, which is a high charge, but you also are hoping to cause some damage with these blast gems that you've just put on the board. So task number one accomplished, we've got the red finisher charged. Mr. Perfect's kicking out of that first wave of the yellow moves. So now our finisher destroys blast gems. There's one left on the board. So with this red finisher, you're getting base damage plus destroying this blast gem that's left. You'll see another build shortly that adds more blast gems on the board. So we're not using this finisher yet because we're, we're hoping to get the yellows charged again so that a couple of more blast gems possibly can be on the board before we need to unleash that finisher. But we're watching what Mr. Perfect is doing here as far as his moves. He's going to get his finisher off. At four star, we're not too worried about guys getting off their, their finisher for the first time because more often than not, you're going to be able to kick out. So Goldberg, once he gets those yellows out there and Enzo has no more uh, influence on this match, it's a matter of getting these yellows refilled. So looking at this blast gem, I don't think we can, well, we'll give it a try. We're going to set this off base damage plus destroying the blast gem, looking for a cascade. Our yellows are gonna be good to go on the next turn. Both of them are set. A couple more blast gems go out. Choose seven reds. So while Enzo gets those yellow moves off very quickly for the first time, you can see that if it doesn't get you a pin, it's a slow build back up to get them off the second time. So we get a win, but we lost probably 60-70% of our health because Mr. Perfect got all his moves off. So let's check another match against Mr. Perfect, but this time, instead of Enzo, we're adding Rusev for extra blast gems. So the build this time is to build up those yellows for the first wave. In the last match, we would have been putting our yellows out right now, but now we're waiting at least another turn to get those yellows off. But the difference being when that first yellow move goes, we're going to be putting out five blast gems instead of two. So being able to link them together and getting a big, uh, blow up of the board is going to be a little easier with our, our choose seven than it was when only two blast gems were out on the board. So the perfect plex again is going to make us kick out. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's an issue with not being able to get your moves off first. So we'll try it one more time. Same build. Still yellow, yellow, red. That's his move set. And once again, it's Rusev and Big John Stud. Wanting to get the yellows charged before your opponent gets their moves off. So you can see it's a catch 22 for Goldberg. 
if you want him to be fast, he's not putting out as many blast gems. If you want him to be powerful, he's not going to get that yellow move charged real quickly. So now both yellows are charged and there's a ton of red on the board. So this, this is sort of a dream Goldberg scenario here. So you see five blast gems go out now instead of the two. So that when we start laying red gems down, we're pretty much covering the board with red. And these blast gems are going to take out three quarters of the board here. Bunch of cascades. That's 100k damage. So there's your pluses and minuses of Goldberg. Slow and hugely powerful or fast and what do you got for me next? <laughs>